We all know that while the air temperature may be one thing, when you add a wind it can feel much like something else. In our weather site, we will have access to the air temperature and to the current wind speed. We will use these two pieces of information to calculate the wind chill or feels like temperature. In the Functions JS page, below all current code, add a new comment indicating what this new function will do. Beneath the comment, add the code needed for the function as shown. Now let's explain a bit about what this code does, keeping in mind that at the end we may make some revisions. We first name the function and indicate what parameters the function needs to do its job. Next, we identify the HTML element where the result of our calculations will be stored. We may want to remove this from the function. Then we set up the actual calculation and use the temperature and wind speeds within the calculation. Then we round down the resulting temperature to the nearest integer. Finally, we test to see which number is lower, the air temperature or the wind shield. We will use the lowest. At this point, we write the results to the console to make sure everything is working. Then we inject the wind chill temperature into the DOM element. Saving our work, we return to the DOM event listener at the top of the page and provide the two data values needed and then call the function. In the web page, we should see the result. While our function works, it does a little too much. To make it more flexible, the DOM element line and the DOM injection could be removed and placed into the DOM event listener at the top of our page. By doing so, we have more control of how the function actually works. If we choose to do this, we will need to add an additional line to the bottom of our function to return the wind chill value as shown in the video. Either way will work, but the latter is probably best practice. If you make the change, make sure to save and test again in the browser to ensure that everything continues to work.